Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. The US market recovered sharply last night, posting a bullish engulfing pattern. Uh, but unfortunately, it did not manage to fall through this morning, but potential resistance at 17,546 uh, remains in play. Um, a series of earnings came out last night that was actually a little bit better than expected. Uh, Amazon missing, um, Google a little bit strange as well. Uh, well, not, not quite so good, incidentally, but um, obviously Apple really helping to uh, to push a lot of these markets that lot higher. Uh, so some firms have actually done quite well, uh, whereas a number of other firms have, uh, have, have kind of struggled this uh, this season. But nevertheless, you can see there that we still might have some sort of descending triangle formation approaching right here. You can just see the tips of these candles right here. Um, as a matter of fact, you might even be looking at some sort of channel formation because you've got you've got these tips down here as well. Um, but we are moving at a little bit lower. All the technicals are quite neutral. Uh, the lack of volume this morning is a little bit uh, disturbing from a technical perspective, uh, but we are coming up quite close to that 21 period SMA as well. So if we do begin to move that a little bit lower, you might look at 17,361 as the next potential support. So moving on to the UK 100, not quite the bullish engulfing pattern that we had in the UK on the uh, US 30. Uh, a similar picture this morning, most markets drifting slightly lower this morning. Other technicals are actually, you're getting almost getting a crossover in the slow stochastic there, that's almost a sell. Uh, you've got, you already had a, a sell signal in the RSI and you're getting a lowering of the histogram and the MACD, which is indicative of the fact that there could be a crossover happening right here as well. So 67.71 could be the level. So then looking at Japan 225, uh, again on the, on the back foot, trying to push up a little bit higher, 18306, the next potential resistance. Potential support still at 17,496. Moving averages are flattening off. Other technicals are relatively neutral, apart from the slow stochastic there. That's just moving into that 80% overbought uh, area, but it's still got a little bit of room for maneuver. The most global markets seem to be taking a little bit of a breather after a decent session last night. Quite surprising that everyone's coming off so much today. Not so much, but the fact that everything's coming off when everything seemed to close quite um, close to the top end of its range last night. Um, dollar yen, so the dollar's taking a little bit of a back back seat right now um, after having a, a decent day yesterday it's not really followed through dollar yen still has this consolidation pattern around about 117.36 there's really not much to talk about dollar, uh, dollar yen at this stage we'll come back on to other FX pairs in a second crude is still we're still moving lower yesterday we actually got down to quite close to the bottom end of uh, 43 dollars there's not much fundamentals to support this longer term potential support still remains at 35 um, but just gives you a bit of an idea of, of, of what to expect there anyway so um, looking at um, the kind of the trend right here obviously we're not seeing any huge massive turnaround um, which is um, not that surprising inventories were at an all-time record high supply is not going to be um, getting the tap aren't getting turned off anytime soon um, but certainly we are in the middle of the two ranges right now between 35 and 54 we haven't seen a real acceleration to the downside for the last uh, couple of days, even though we have been trading at the at, at quite, quite low levels. Be interesting to see how this finishes up today. So then, moving on to gold, uh, gold had a terrible day yesterday, uh, and to be honest, it's probably going to still have a, a bit of a torrid time. It didn't start off that negative, but accelerated as to the end of the day as the market jet digested or got used to the idea that the U.S. might be raising rates um, in summer to, to to late autumn, and that stronger potential U.S. dollar. That, you know, gold's very sensitive to um, to U.S. interest rates, and that 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 move yesterday. Uh, I'm not so sure that gold is going to magically recover on the back of that. So you might get retracement back up to 1273, but uh, I think the gold bulls are scattering to the wind right now. So we're having a bit of a bounce this morning. We'll have to see what happens, but 1273 could be the potential resistance uh, to stop gold from moving up any higher. So moving on to your dollar. It's been a tough one to call last couple of days. It's up one minute, down the next, and obviously with the stronger uh, greenback getting touted across the board, it's, it, it's surprising to see that the euro has been quite resilient, but then it is at the bottom of the downtrend. 107 spot 86 is still a long-term potential support. One spot 16.42 is a potential resistance. Uh, we'll see if this peters off later on today. So then to look at GBP USD, uh, I had a bad day yesterday as well, a down day yesterday, drifting level lower today. 
next potential support is uh, 49, 46, followed by one support 48, 13, which is still a longer term potential support for GBP USD. Economic data wise, we do have Eurozone CPI and unemployment data, followed by US GDP. So, Euro dollar will still be in focus, and macro data there to kick it, kick it in one direction or the next. And then, if we fast forward on to Monday, Monday there you do have German PMI, Eurozone PMI, UK PMI, and US PMI. Um, so, a fair amount of, um, of kind of inflation related data to, uh, to come out there that's purchasing managers index. It uh, gives them a bit of an idea. Sorry, it's about. Um, Kind of factory production, everything else like that. So um, that will be quite keenly watched, especially for people trading FX. It should be a decent, uh, a decent catalyst for us to move forward. So as ever, keep an eye on the chart firm, make insights part of your layer going forward, and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.